It is 7.52, eight minutes before eight o'clock, and it's back to school week here on Good Day Columbus. So we sent Dana Turtle out to do a little back to school shopping. He's live at the Big Lots in West Columbus <laughs> with a school supply list in hand. You are ready to go. I am ready to go, yes. Hey, by the way, school is starting in some districts tomorrow already. Can you believe it? I think Delaware is one of them, and there's several others. So um, here's what I've got. Uh, we're at this Big Lots here on West Broad, not too far from the casino. Now, I, I've got to ask you both at the station, what grade do you want me to do? I can maybe do a couple. We'll see. Kindergarten all the way through seventh and eighth grade. And let me tell you, the seventh grade list is very extensive. Look at that. Oh, then we should probably um, go with that. Three ring binders, four spiral notebooks, yada, 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 highlighters, no whiteout. Oh, why can't you have whiteout? That's weird. Uh, four <laughs> double A batteries. Very specific uh, a list. A flash isn't it? drive. A flash drive. Is that for like iPods? Is that what everybody's doing? I or the iPad, I mean? Do kind of, but no. Do the kindergarten list. The kinder Okay, let me start with something easy. Okay. The kindergarten list, a box of tissues. Yeah. Well, everybody, you know, I use Carol Looper's tissues because I never have any. She has some on her desk. So make sure you ask um, her first. <laughs> well, I, I don't think she minds. School okay. bag, Clorox wipes. Ooh, that'll be fun. We'll get Clorox wipes. Okay. And a small pillow for rest time. Oh, I That's love that. That's what I need. <laughs> right. Okay, we're going to start with the kindergarten list. We have to get them to open the doors, and they're supposed to open here in like six minutes, and oh. we're just kind of waiting here for someone window. to open it. Okay. <laughs> and, th and we'll go in. I'll start with kindergarten, and then maybe in the 9 o'clock hour, Pete, I will attempt the 7th and 8th grade list, which is very extensive right here. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And we'll all see right. how much it'll cost, all right? All right, thanks, Dana. We'll check back in throughout the morning. <laughs> All right, pick up some extra school supplies while you're out shopping for local kids in need. Friday is our annual school supply drive. We are partnering with Big Lots, Rykar, and the Salvation Army. Donate new school supplies on Friday from 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. right here at our studios on Dublin Road. Summer is just about over for Central Ohio students. Can you believe the school starts tomorrow know, for kids in the fast. Olentangy District, Big Walnut, Delaware City? So Dana Turtle is in a rush to get his back to school supply shopping done. He's live in West Columbus <laughs> and I believe you're going to start with kindergarten, right? Well, I was going to do kindergarten and then I realized that maybe we should do like first grade instead. Okay. Um, so this is just, uh, this is a list right here. This is the first grade list. There's like Whoa. literally 20 things. So we're going to start off with a backpack and we're going to get a boy's <laughs> backpack right here. So there we go. It's got some Ohio it's State colors. That's cool. It's nine dollars and up. Oh, and then I have a cart coming right here, and it says for the kindergartners they need a pillow, if, if you can believe that. So here we go. Um, now I have not done this in a long, long time. <laughs> okay. Now one box of crayons. You have your hands full there. Is there <laughs> is there like a certain number of crayons, like the box that you're supposed to get? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say. It just says, oh, wait. Yeah, it does. One <laughs> box of 24-count crayons. Oh, the 24-count. Donnie count. is following me. Donnie is following me. Hey, um, oh, so what, what's your, crayons. like, in the box of crayons, what was your favorite color? Because some of them had fun names. Oh, uh, I usually got, like, blue. Okay, 24-color well, that, pencils. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. What do you Mine need colored green. pencils for? Where are the colored pencils? I, I feel like this is... This is probably what it's like for most parents. One box of markers. Oh, wait. These are, oh, those are dry erase. That's not what I want, right? No, no. that's not okay, what you here's want. Okay, some. Here's some over here. Oh, these are crazy art right here. We got to get a ruler now. <laughs> got to get a wow. ruler. Okay, this is going to take a little, this is going to take Yeah, that a could take time. a while. Time consuming there. <laughs> and these are for first graders. There's probably, there's probably going to be a whole bunch of parents scrambling to do this today since school is starting in a lot of districts tomorrow, so uh -huh. I, I have a ways to go. I'm going to try to get all this stuff for the first grade list, and then I'll show you what it looks like in the cart. Yeah, pack right. it Maybe we there. could ring it up, maybe. We'll see what it costs. All right. Okay. Thanks, Dana. I, I'll keep working. See you in a little bit. All That's, right. Uh, all right. Well, by the way, it is back to school week <laughs> all, all this week here on Good Day Columbus. We want to see your photos. Maybe if you want to give a favorite teacher a shout-out or share your favorite memory with us. And we'll share them on the air. Just email us. The address is simple. Email everything to us. Good day, Columbus at WTTE28.com. All right. Remember your first day of school? 
all those brand new fresh school supplies. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love that. I was always envious of the kids that had like a big box of crayons. I had the smaller box. Aww. Dana Turtle, though, live in West Columbus, trying to complete a school supply list. All right, Dana, when we last checked in, you were looking at the crayons, and you were looking for a yeah. ruler. Did you ever find it? Yes, I did find the ruler. Um, actually, I got everything put together for a first grader at um, a school called Trinity. Okay. It's uh, one of the sample sheets. Well, I guess it's a real one. I don't know where Trinity is, but anyway, this, this is the first grade list. And, you know, Donnie, who's running the camera, yeah. it took us a little while to do this. So I'm going to show you a little sample. Four of these folders. Oh, it's in Grandview Heights. Thank you. This is in Grandview Heights at Trinity. So a pencil box, and there's a specific size for it, too. So you can't get the wrong size. Okay. It needs to be a 5 by 8 Yeah. Glue sticks, ruler, Kleenexes, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so then... I had Donnie, I, I gave Donnie another assignment besides holding the camera. Okay. We put together a little first grade or kindergarten girl Aww. thing, right? Kindergarten girl. Okay, so here's what you have to have for kindergarten girl. Clorox wipes. I guess those are the generics, but, you know, it does the same thing. Got to have a pillow for nap time. Oops. Imagine that. <laughs> I don't know what oh, I knocked over. Okay, and then a little backpack. This is the one Donnie picked out. Uh-huh. has a Very daughter cute. someday. Baby wipes. Really? Baby wipes? Oh, I didn't know that. A lot of cleanup in kindergarten. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think the most confusing one for me is the third grade music list. Yeah. That one gets a little extensive. Like, I think this is music at $10 for BizTown. What's BizTown? <laughs> I, I feel like I must be like a, a parent because I don't, I don't know what that is. $30 for Sunship Earth. Like, what's Sunship <laughs> Earth? I, I don't know what that is. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, now, what we're going to do is we're going to ring up this stuff and this stuff, and I'll let you know how much it costs. And then before we leave you, I'm sorry, I get distracted easily, but look! Oh, Halloween! Goodness. Halloween already. Wow. Halloween has it's already not, hit big lots. It's not on the list, Dana. It's I was not, just thinking, I don't know what I'm going to be this year for Walk Halloween. away from the this. Halloween aisle. Yeah. Okay, so... We're going to go ring this up. By the way, our Big Lots opens in uh, six minutes, so come see us on the West Broad one. Okay. And uh, we'll ring this up, and we'll see how much it costs, and then maybe I'll get another one together. Like the seventh and eighth grade one, though, is kind of complicated. Yeah. <laughs> I can't well, imagine. You it's know, advanced you stuff. Know, walking around the store if forever. If you have, like, three or four kids, like, that, this is, like, a lot of work. Like, this is, like, a whole okay. day's worth of, like, shopping. All right. You know? Well, you're doing you very go. well, Dana. Thanks. Thank Dana. you. That's, okay. that's Dana's first assignment of the school year, getting all the, <laughs> all the supplies. Oh, boy, it's that time. Back to school. So have you done your back-to-school shopping yet? Well, Dana Turtle is live from West Columbus this morning, trying to complete a list of the most needed school supplies. So which grade are you on now, Dana? <laughs> well, we have done the first grade uh, at Trinity in Grandview. Um, so basically, I took their little, their little list right here, which our lovely producer Julia gave me, and there's the list for the first grade. So what we're going to do here, with the help of Annie, good morning, Annie. Good morning. All right, so you're going to ring these up for me, and we're going to see how much this costs. There's folders, a big paper towel, and there's specific rules uh, in terms of how many, like, glue sticks. So we needed eight, and there's six, and of course, they don't sell them in eights, so you have to buy three more. I think this is pretty common, right, for people? It is. Okay, so, yeah, there's all that. There's markers. I know we didn't get the Crayola, but you can save a little bit of money on that. Okay. Pencils. Now, with the pencils, you have to have 12. That's the rules on the sheet. Uh, 25 pencil eraser heads. <laughs> um, colored pencils, Crayolas. And then, hey, check out the backpack that we got. I don't know if you saw it earlier, Sean. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's probably the most expensive thing we're getting. 20 bucks, right? Right, yeah. Annie? 20 bucks? Okay. Now, this was the other thing that I think was a little confusing, I thought, was um, this little pencil box, and it has to be a 5x8. Like, yeah, it has to be that size. Specifically, a 5x8. So there's nice. the 5x8. <laughs> well, you got that. And then Kleenexes. <laughs> Kleenexes, or I guess these are puffs. Same thing. Okay. Tissues. So that is what you need. That is what you need as a first grader. And we got stuff for a little boy mm -hmm. okay. at Trinity. And what is it going to cost? It's going to come to $44 even. 
44 dollars okay hey, not well, bad I mean, it's not like it's not like really bad hey where's our little kindergarten one do we have a little kinder we got a little kindergarten one too <laughs> oh maybe we left it in the back uh -oh. my favorite part about the kindergarten one yeah we did a little girl and the last uh the last time there's uh, one small pillow for rest time. That was my favorite Aww. part. Yeah, it was a fluffy <laughs> and pillow. Then, and then they would like a personal check. I'm not kidding. For 20 bucks to the school for additional kindergarten community supplies. Oh, I know. Oh, I see. So, Everybody pitches in. I thought he was going to say a $20 check to Dana Turtle. Yeah. For... <laughs> no, well, no. He's sneaky. Um, so, so, yes. Best of luck to all you parents out there who are going to be doing this because it took me and Donnie a sizable amount of time to do a kindergartner and a first grader. So if you have like three, four kids, yeah. like especially when you get it to like seventh, eighth grade, oh my gosh, like okay. it's extensive. It can and be. then and then look at the fifth <gasps> grade. I think the fifth grade is the longest. And there's this stuff like called BizTown and Sunship Earth. I don't even know. Like I really, I don't even know what that means. I'd have to Google it. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you know what that means? All right, Dana. Dana. Thank you for doing the dirty okay. work this morning. It See is a lot tomorrow. of work. Yeah. It is a lot to get them ready for school. Hey, don't forget, it is back to school week on Good Day Columbus. Send us your photos. Give a little shout out to your favorite teacher. Share your favorite school memories with us, and we will share them on the air. Email us at GoodDayColumbus at WTTE28. Dot com. That's right. And of course, don't forget, it's also our annual school supply drive this week. This year, we're partnering with Big Lots, Reichert, and the Salvation Army. You can donate new school supplies, new ones, on Friday from 630 in the morning till 630 at night at our studios right here at 1261 Dublin Road. We hope you'll come out this Friday to see us and help kids in our community.